Good morning. Um, welcome, welcome to my yoga grotto. <laughs> um, come, and today we're gonna start by lying on our backs. We're just gonna switch it all up. So come lie on your backs with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Nice. So coming all the way down, just landing on the floor. For those of you who did exhale back in September, um, this is how we, st well, we started in child's pose, but just land on, your, on the floor, on your floor, and just drop your arms out to the sides and just feel your spine as it rests on the floor. A sense of your belly, oh, your shoulders as they contact the backs of your hands, your lower back, the soles of your feet, and just take a few really steady breaths down into your belly. Feeling the inhale and noticing the exhale, really lengthening your exhalation. Slowing things down, connecting in, just being in this moment on the floor. Nice. And then you can either have your arms long beside you or you can rest your hands on your belly. And we're going to do a pelvic tilt. So in, in all my real classes and all my Zooms, this is how I start my classes is on the floor. And then I, so we're just going to do a mini version of one of them. So flatten your lower back down and pull backwards. So there's no space between the lower back and the floor. And then tilt and arch your lower back. And so as you do this movement, as you flatten down and then as you arch, notice the the way your lower back is taking the movement, receiving the movement. So arching and then flattening down, arching and flattening down. You'll notice that your head moves, your feet are helping you do this. Flattening down and one more time, arching and flattening down. And then push strongly into your feet and begin to roll up along your spine. So you're lifting your hips up off the floor, you're squeezing through your bum, and then slowly, steadily, I always feel like a tiger as I try and roll down along my spine, really slow and smoothly. And again, rolling up along your spine. I really noticed this morning, how is it in your body to travel up and down along your spine? Using the floor, feeling the contact. Nice, one more time, traveling up, pushing really deeply into your heels. And feel how when you push into your heels, the back line of your body engages a little bit more, your hamstrings, your buttocks, your lower back. And just drawing your hips a little bit higher. Nice. And then roll all the way down, bring your arms out into a T, straight out through the sides, and then drop your knees from side to side. And so as you rock your knees from side to side, just noticing your body in this moment, the length of the belly, the movement in the hips, the lower back, the thighs, the knees, the feet. And then come all the way to center, and then squeeze your right knee up onto your chest and hug it in. As you squeeze it in towards you, you'll feel the contact between your thigh and your belly and the deep compression of your hip. Maybe have a sigh or surrender it a little bit more. Chances are that you're pushing into it or resisting slightly into it. See if you can soften and melt a little bit. Nice change. Draw the left knee up towards you. Squeeze it in. And feel it, sense it. Nice. Hmm. Draw the right knee again up towards you and then stretch the left leg long until it floats just above the floor. So your right knee is squeezing towards you, your left leg is long, and now you're going to travel with the left leg. So bend your left knee and then stretch your left leg long. Keep your lower back on the floor. Bend your left knee. And then stretch your left leg long. Nice, one more time. Bend your left knee. Really feel the opening of this and stretch your left leg long. Nice, change. Draw the left knee up towards you. Hold on to it both hands. And then stretch the right leg long until it floats just above the floor. 
and then bend your knee draw it in and stretch it long bend your knee draw it in stretch it long one more time bend your knee draw it in stretch it long nice both hands up both hands on your knees and then circle into the lower back and pelvis nice. feeling that through the hips through the belly through the lower back and then circle in the other direction your hands don't actually have to be on your knees you can decide what you need to do yourself nice so bring both feet to the floor so always my question always is how do we get up and down off the floor it all started with a little old lady friend of mine Leisha she fell in her garden and she couldn't stand up and so she had to crawl something like 15 meters to find a chair that she could pull herself up on and ever since that moment it's been like oh we've got to be able to get back up off the floor and we have to cultivate that in our youth because then when we need it it's there so drop both knees over towards the right and I'm going to bring my right elbow out a little bit and then I'm going to bring my left hand to the floor and then push my left hand down and end up halfway up so I'm kind of leaning into the left hand my elbows on the floor halfway and then I tuck my shoulder under on the right and then all the way back down onto the floor nice other side and bring your left hand no right hand in front of your face push down with your left elbow and come halfway up and then all the way back down roll onto your back right halfway up on the right push your left hand down up on the elbow of the right elbow down and then halfway up on the left and just feel that feel how your arms have to push how your torso has to engage how your knees are doing something right now nice one more time and you're going over towards the left as your last of this times okay and then just come land on your back and just roll your shoulders on the floor how do you do that and then roll your shoulders in the other direction Oh, I really feel, a, I feel like a bear in the woods scratch, scratching my back when I do this. It's like this very satisfying kind of tangible physical sensations of the floor. So you're going to bring that move into the next stage. So drop your knees to the right, push your right elbow down, bring your left hand to the floor and then push up enough that both hands are now on the floor and they're straight and you're looking down at your hands. Nice. Tuck yourself under roll back and over towards the left both arms are straight and you're looking down at your hands and then come back again one more time each side over on the right both hands straight and then over on the left both hands straight we could go to the floor and then roll over but you can just stay where you are and come into your cat pose so your hands are underneath your shoulders your knees are underneath your hips and then push back into your downward dog so as you stretch back into your downward dog as you lengthen through your arms and your legs as always whenever i end up in this pose i just start to wiggle naturally i'm like oh how am i this morning what's happening and so just see how that how do you connect in you know what do you do to it's like check out all the different rooms in this house so um toes how are your toes doing how are your feet and ankles doing how are my calves, my knees, my thighs, my belly, my pelvis, lower back, sides of my waist, rib cage, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, forearms, hands. And I kind of have this you know, little wiggle where I kind of wake up and call all the different parts of me. Nice. Drop your knees to the floor and just do your shoulder shrugs. Squeeze your shoulders back and push your shoulders forward. Shoulders go back, shoulders go forward. Shoulders go back, shoulders go forward, and now come down. Shoulders go back, nose comes down, straighten your arms, shoulders go back. So maybe you've been doing this consistently now, more or less, as consistently as I do things, uh, the last three weeks. So how, how do your shoulders feel now as you move? Do you lower down a little bit closer to the floor? Or have you had to really acknowledge that one of your shoulders, you need to go slowly? Just feel that. What is the opportunity or the possibility of wellness? Nice. And now walk your hands one hand print forward. Sit your bum back and stretch out through your arms and just pause there, really lengthening into your armpits. Nice. 
I was thinking about it this morning. You know, we consider that strong people are people who can say no. And yet in our yoga practice, we're supposed to say yes to everything. So it's not true. So being able to modify and say, hmm, that one's not for me today, or I'm going to mind that shoulder, is actually such strength and self-awareness. And that's what we should be cultivating. The ability to say no within ourselves. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bend my elbow or ease off or really cultivating an inner wellness in my own inner attitude. Nice, coming all the way back up. From here, push back and walk your feet forward and just pause in your forward bend. So your hands can be on the floor. If you feel like that's too strong in your lower back, then just bring your elbows to your knees. Or if you're comfortable, then hands on the floor or you can cross your elbows and let them hang. And just deepen into your belly. So if you have anything going on with your lower back, be careful with this one. It seems surprisingly easy, but it's quite tricky. So bring your elbows to your knees. And then you're going to start walking forward, keeping your elbows on your knees. And then you're going to walk backwards, elbows on your knees. So if that felt strong enough, stay there, okay? Or drop your hands down, cross your elbows. Be careful with this one. Walk forward. Keeping your elbows on your knees it might be that moment where you go, no, I'm not going to do that one. Or, see, <laughs> all the way back, elbows to your knees, hands to your knees, roll all the way up to stand. Bring your hands to your hips and just roll into your hips in big circles. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. So standing in the middle of your mat and then come up onto your toes. And for me, as soon as I come up onto my toes, I start to lean forward in my torso. And I'm going to try and adjust that. So squeeze through your bum, engage your thighs and lengthen your torso. Whatever it is your tendency is, notice it. And then drop your heels to the floor. Bring your fingertips down, touch the floor. And then come all the way back up. And when you come up, come up onto your toes. And then drop your heels down. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Come back up. Come up onto your toes. So if that felt strong enough, stay there. Or we're going to try and come forward and stay on our toes. So staying up on your toes. Bend forward. Bring your fingertips to the floor and slowly travel back up again the traveling up going down is easy enough i find <laughs> coming back up is tricky so all these these exercises that i'm doing often they're coming down they're lengthening contractions into the body so the body has to work out a range of motion that has strength in it whereas often in some practices other yoga practices the range of the muscle is a passive muscle so they're only focusing on flexibility whereas in this one more time, either heels down or heels up, is where your function of strength, range, balance, flexibility, and coordination. <laughs> and then just roll out through one ankle. You can hold on to the wall if you want to. And then the other direction. And then roll out into the other ankle. And then the other direction. Nice. So come stand to the front of your mat. Reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees, come all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, hands to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your right leg back, lunge position, drop your right knee to the floor, pull your left elbow back into bow and arrow, and then rise with your right hand and point upwards. Be fierce. I always feel like an Amazonian when I'm doing this. And then coming all the way down, bring your fingertips to the floor. And then bring, keep your left fingers on your shoulder, dial in your twist, draw your elbow back, and then extend your left hand up towards the ceiling. Stay there or stretch your back leg. Nice, drop your back knee to the floor, both hands to the floor, other side of that front leg. 
stretching it out bend your knee lean into your hips stretch it out and lean into your hips nice step back into your plank knees to the floor lower your belly all the way down fingers are wide tuck your chin in let your toes lift off the floor and then reverse backwards draw your shoulders away from your ears as you rise nice lowering down push back into your cat and when you're in your cat pose take your right hand and dive it underneath the left armpit and bring your shoulder to the floor and so the right side of your head is resting on the floor and you're looking at your right hand underneath your left arm nice coming all the way back up from here take your right knee and draw your right knee up towards your right shoulder elbow and look at it and then stretch your right leg long and sweep it around the corner till it hops over towards the left side and then look over your left shoulder man look at it and draw your knee up look at it hop your leg over stretching it long over towards the left just do that a few times knee up uh, over look at it you can have your leg long if you wish so you're swinging a straight leg forwards and then around the corner forwards around the corner one more time forwards and then just hold the around the corner one your foot's over towards the left and really draw your squeeze the left side a little bit more to bring length into the right nice both knees to the floor push back downward dog cool step your right foot forward to the front of your mat step your left foot forward front of your mat hands to the floor forehead to your knees slowly rolling up reach your arms wide bring your palms together bending your elbows bending your knees all the way down hands to the floor forehead to your knees hands to your shins lengthen and look forward hands to the floor stretch your left leg back drop your left foot to the floor drop your left knee down pull your right elbow back like bow and arrow and then rise with your left hand really just feel the, the fierceness of that nice drop your hand all the way down keep your fingers near your right shoulder and then dial in your shoulder a little bit more and reach your right hand up towards the ceiling nice pause there or lift your back knee off the floor nice bend your elbow bring your hands either side of that front foot stretch out through your front leg bend your knee stretch out through your front leg bend your knee one more time Stretch out through your front leg and then lean deeply into your hips. Cool. Bring both knees back and then dive with the left hand under your armpit and bring the left side of your head to the floor. nice coming all the way back both hands on the floor draw the left knee up towards your left elbow maybe a little bit kind of to the outside and look at it stretch your leg long swing it around the corner and look at it over towards the right and then come up knee bent up towards your shoulder over the corner and look at it and then begin to swing knee up leg over if you want to as before you can Keep your legs straight as you swing it. You can keep it floating as you swing it. And keeping your knee bent is one of those moments where you decide what's your wellness, what you need. One more time. And hold it. You're looking over the right shoulder. You're squeezing the right hip and the right shoulder towards each other as you lengthen into the left side. nice 
Let's bring both knees to the floor. Swing your feet over to the side and stretch your legs that long in front of you. Nice, just roll out to your ankles and roll out into your wrists. And just roll your shoulders. Nice, twist over your right shoulder, look back behind you. My left hand is holding onto the outside of my knee. My right hand is behind me. And change, look over your left shoulder, pushing your hand into the outside of your leg to look over your shoulder. And come back to center, nice. Squeeze through your legs, so start at your thighs and kind of like squeeze out through your toes. I feel like I'm a tube of toothpaste when I do this. Kind of feel like you're down the sides down the front, anything that doesn't serve you, out with it, out, choo choo, out, and then start with your right arm, and whoosh down your right arm, whoosh, whoosh, and whoosh down your left arm, whoosh, 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 just rub into your lower back, so you're just rubbing into your lower back, rub into the sides of your waist, and rub into this awesome belly, so many organs, so much amazing stuff. Sides of your waist, lower back, and then whoosh down your legs one last time. Take it from your lower back and then whoosh it down and then shake out your hands. <laughs> nice guys. And then come rest either on your back with your knees bent or with your legs straight. You can lie on your side, you can lie on your belly, or you can come into your child's pose. So just decide what's the right one for you. What feels like your settling pose today? Nice guys. You can stay there if you're at home and have space and time to stay there, then do stay there for another few minutes if you want. Lie on the floor, let yourself rest. Uh, otherwise, gather yourself up and wander off into this kind of slightly windy day. Um, I'm going to go swimming in the sea. It's supposed to be very bouncy today, so that should be fun. Um, so it'd be great. Uh, be well and remember cultivating your wellness on the inside is really such an incredible practice it's so important that we we have a reserve and the resources within ourselves that's where they we can really hold them and we can that's what that's where the strength is in us it's inside resources and that's what we're doing here um have a great day and i shall see you for day 25 tomorrow oh my god uh, great bye guys